Hello everybody, welcome to my review of Selma. This is uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day, by the way. And uh, this movie is, speaking of Martin Luther King Jr., all about Martin Luther King Jr. and how he went to Selma and was uh, protesting with the the racial marches. And uh, he wasn't protesting, but you know what I mean. He was. He, it, this movie's all about him really standing up for what he believes in and really where he gets, how he gets this charisma to go out there and just walk with these people even you know not just blacks and whites they all just start coming together and they march up this you know it's really really a powerful movie when you watch it and uh i, I watched this movie and i already know i'm getting kind of into it a little bit more i uh, should be talking about the direction and how that should go this movie is directed by ava de and uh for, forgive me if i butchered your name but uh fantastic directing i mean uh, I, I was really surprised and really shocked on how much how, how well this movie was directed, I'm not really shocked. I mean, it's a Martin Luther King Jr. movie. The director obviously was, who was making it, obviously probably knew what they were doing, and obviously they did. This movie is just by far an amazing experience to watch. And I think it's one of those movies that even after it comes out on Blu-ray, I think people should buy it, like teachers or schools, and they should put it on uh, on school because this movie, it makes so many great points about what happened in the 80s, the 60s. It really, it does. And, uh, man, I felt so guilty after this movie ended, you know? It, same thing like when I watched 12 Years a Slave. The movie made you feel guilt because how shitty some people were to these people. And they were our, all these people are our people. And watching how shitty they were and how brutal they can get, it was just, it was just, it was just awful to watch. And it's just one of those times in our American history that we wish we could forget. But it's just so, so awful what happened. And this movie really shows that in the best way possible and uh how awful it was and still is awful and man david oyelo he gives some very powerful performance this is this is a very powerful performance by david oyelo and it really is pissy that he got snubbed by the oscars this year man i was so i haven't seen the movie i didn't see the movie after, before i you know heard about the oscar nominations but when the, and then i went and watched this movie and then i now that i think about it i'm like you know i almost David Oyelowo probably should have got that nomination more than Bradley Cooper, and that's no bad. That's no. That's not bashing Bradley Cooper. I'm just saying this guy's amazing in the movie, and the direction is amazing. Everybody else, even the side characters, there's some really cool cameos in this movie. Like Michael Sheen was a cameo. I mean, I was really surprised how many cameos were in this movie, and the acting is top notch. By the way, the acting is top notch. The story that they told is top notch. Really well done uh, direction. Uh, really made you feel the, the sorrow and sadness of these people and what they went through just to vote and that's that that was insane and the movie's great I love the movie I'm gonna give Selma an A so guys those are my thoughts on Selma uh, today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day and it is probably one of the best days to go watch this movie to be honest it totally made my day a lot more better having no school Martin Luther King Jr. Day, I went and saw a Martin Luther King movie, and now I want to see, tell you guys, you should go do it too. So guys, that's my that's the end of this review. Let me know down below, what are your thoughts on Selma down below? I really want to hear your thoughts on this. Grade it on the bottom. I want, to, I want to see your grade for this movie, and guys, as always, thanks for watching.